you. So the five paragraph essay, I remember Heidi talked to us about that before and I laughed. But so I want to know, do you still want it taught in high school? Like, is it a foundational structure or is it like the potted plant that you just want to throw off the porch and like, you don't even need this, like get rid of this. Like, do you think it is the training wheels, like you have to have it to go new places to learn to ride the bike? Or do you think it just forms a bad habit that should, that's too difficult to unlearn? Great question. <laughs> that's a really good question. My short answer is I think a structure is very useful to students. If I, if I had to be a high school teacher, um, I, I would think about how to tweak the five paragraph essay. So it still is a formula, but it's a formula that maybe allows for more complexity. So maybe having one of those paragraphs be focused on counter argument, you know, anticipating objections to your point of view. Um, maybe thinking of the introduction and the conclusion, not as separate entities from your argument, but being the first step, the first thing that you want to say about your argument. So the, I, would, I would maybe tweak the five paragraph essay. I think it's time for a revamp. Um, I think a structure is important. I think students learn a lot from structure, from templates. Um, I use, uh, they say, I say in some of my writing courses, which you all may be familiar with, which is built around um, templates for helping students think through their ideas. And what's great about those templates is they'll be really simple. And you'll think a student knows what they're trying to say. And I'm like, all right, we're just, you know, fill in, the, fill in the templates. If this, then that. Some people think this, some people think that, I think this. And they get lost and these are brilliant students, but they really get lost in when they have to spell out their ideas in a logical way. So I think templates are very useful, um, but a more sophisticated template that more mirrors the type of writing that they would do in college or in the world, right? So we're, even in a writing an email, you anticipate how is someone going to misunderstand me? How are they going to push back? Um, how are they going to be like, this is suspect? Um, you know, how, what examples can I provide? What data can I provide? How can I phrase this in a way that's tailored to what I know Heidi is concerned about versus what, uh, you know, Dean Jimenez is worried about? Um, those are all things that we are practicing in the, you know, in our real life writing situation. So I think having templates that mirror those habits that they will use later on, I think is useful. So just maybe tweaking that five paragraph essay a bit.